Healthcare Manager's multi-dimensional acquisition engine allows you to set up a multi-dimensional stack which may be a stack of multiple frames, positions, Z slices, channels, or any combination of these. You can load previous settings and also save any of your new settings. If you would like to obtain time points, simply choose the number of frames you would like to acquire and then set an interval time between images or leave it as zero to acquire images as fast as possible. To set up multiple stage positions, you can select the Edit Position List dialog and then once you have set your stage positions, select Mark. The acquisition engine will then acquire images from the list of positions you mark. If you have autofocus checked, then autofocus will run at the beginning of each frame and position, and also before Z stacks or channels. By clicking on the options dialog, you can choose from various autofocus algorithms. You can set a Z stack by entering the start and end Z position along with the step size. Then to set the current Z position from which acquisition will start, you can choose relative Z so that acquisition will start relative to your current position, in which case, if you have autofocus checked, then autofocus will set this position for you. You can also select absolute Z to have acquisition start at an absolute position, which would be either Z start or Z end. <music> Channels dimension can be one of the most useful tools for fluorescence microscopy. You can start by selecting new to insert a new channel into the table and if you would like multiple channels then select new for as many channels as you would like. You can then start by selecting what type of configuration each channel should have. These may differ depending on the settings of your particular microscope. Then for each channel you could set an exposure time, a Z offset, choose whether you would like to include a Z stack, frames to skip, and finally choose a color that would represent that particular channel. Once you have set all your dimensions, you can set the order in which Micromanager loops through the dimensions. For instance, this order would begin with a set time and position, then start Z slices at each channel. All of your settings will be continuously updated in this handy summary box. You should review this information before beginning acquisition. You can choose to either save your acquisition later from the viewer panel, or save them continuously by checking the Save Images box and then enter the directory and file name as well as any relevant comments. We can now begin acquisition and watch the viewer as it displays images with these settings from the acquisition engine. Since the acquisition shown here was set to a single time point and current position, the viewer only displays channels and Z stacks. Once complete, you can scroll through acquired images in any dimension. You can also view the histogram for each channel on the main control panel, which is similar in function as the histogram presented in the Getting Started screencast. Under the Metadata tab, you can view the metadata for the whole acquisition and each frame. Also, under the Comments tab, you can write comments for the whole acquisition and each frame.